Hi, I'm Victoria from Catalyst X, and myself and my colleague Krista, who you'll meet in just a few seconds, are introducing some roles that we're hiring for across Ontario. Uh, Krista will be talking to you about uh, what we think would make someone successful in the role, what you'll actually be doing in the role, and a bit about the collaborative. And I'll talk about what support you'll get, how you'll be compensated, and how to actually apply. This video is going to be it's a little bit informal, kind of a last minute idea, kind of awkward, but we hope you put up with us. And if you don't feel like listening to us, we have like a more formal job description uh, somewhere in some sort of link that I'm sure you can click on in Google Docs. Thank you. Take it away, Krista. Hey, everyone. My name is Krista Vizio, and I'm with the Youth Social Infrastructure Collaborative. I'm based out of Sault Ste. Marie, which is in the Algoma region of Ontario. And I'm here to tell you about a really cool contract that we're hoping to spread out to people who might be interested. So the official job title is Launch Event Community Connector and Co-Designer. Let me just give you a description of what this um, contract is aligned with. So the Northern Lights Collaborative, funded by Youth Opportunities Fund, or YOF, is a collaborative of youth and their allies in regions across Northern Ontario who will host gatherings to map existing supports and to, ve to develop new ones based on creating an environment for youth to explore and develop their leadership, reducing social isolation across youth in Northern Ontario, and increasing and designing youth-led storytelling and evaluation models. Onward to a description of this event. Um, so we're bringing together youth from across the province to take a role in defining and leading the future of the Northern Lights Collaborative. Together, young people will explore and define what supports are needed and what the priorities will be. This will be an opportunity for project designing, cross-cultural learning, and holding brave space. We're looking for young leaders to assist in promoting and developing this event based on their interests. And now let me share with you a description of the role. The successful candidate will promote the event within your community. This is based on your knowledge as a connected youth in your community. You tell us and decide the best ways to reach youth for this project. Communicate between your local community and the project launch team. Connect with young people in your community and help support them to attend the event. For example, host conversations or visit youth groups about the event in your community and connect them with uh, connect with youth in person or online. Co-design the event with the project launch team. Attend and participate in the event. An option here is uh, to lead or facilitate aspects of the event, such as icebreakers or team building activities. And then support the project launch team during the event. So doing fun stuff like setting up chairs and paper and markers and all of these things. So now I bet you're asking yourself, how do I know I'd be good in this role? I'll give a couple of traits, but just note, these are just some traits that we think might be a good fit. If you feel you might be an excellent person for this job, but don't identify with these and identify with other things, please still reach out to us. Uh, to begin, we're looking for a person with a sense of adventurousness. Our launch event and collaborative are hoping to begin new ways of working with youth wisdom as leadership. It might be a little messy at times. We're looking for a self-starter. This role relies on you being able to build and create opportunities. We're looking for a person with compassion. You'll meet all sorts of people, so being compassionate for different points of view and being able to practice self-compassion will get you so far. Um, we're looking for a connected youth to youth in your community, community or youth who are willing to put yourself out there to make more diverse connections and build trust with other young people. It's really key. We're looking for a team player. You'll be part of a circle of other youth who are doing similar work in their communities, and even more people will be thrown into the launch event. That means being able to listen respectfully and express your own opinions too. As well, we're looking for someone who might be comfortable um, working remotely or someone who's looking to learn to work remotely. Uh, so like connecting to tools like Google Hangouts and Google Docs, which is a more technical work remote, working remote skill. Remote working skill? Yeah. <laughs> and able to deal with communication issues that sometimes arise when you're not meeting in person. Thanks. Bye, Krista. Okay, so 
to support. While you are expected to be a self-starter for this role, uh, you're not necessarily working alone. You have other people working with you, such as myself, Krista, and other people in similar roles. So we can be sounding boards, we can be like moral and emotional support, or if you have some very specific needs, like, oh, I need help with like this tech thing, um, then we're there for you. Compensation is 20 to $22 an hour, and it's also any travel meals and accommodation for the launch event itself, of course. And uh, other things that you might need, just let us know. So if you need childcare or if like you don't have a great internet connection and you need some help with that, like we're able to, to help you out with that because we want to make sure you're set up to do the job that you want to do. Uh, in terms of how many hours, we're very flexible, both in how many hours and, and when you do your hours. Our main intention is if you think you'd be good for this job, just let us know. So. That might mean that you can do what you got to do in 30 hours, or you might have a lot of ideas and you need more time, so maybe you'll work 100 hours on it. Um, let us know your expectations and, and we'll work with you. You won't be penalized if you're working more or less hours. Uh, we'll just ha want to have a general sense because there'll be different people on the team working different hours, so it just helps us to know. Uh, the launch event date is to be determined, probably October, so most of this job will be carried out in September and October. However, um, if things go well, there will be a possibility for extension to longer term roles, both in terms of a contract role or potentially even an ongoing part time position in your community. So that's like obviously not a promise, but just something to keep in mind because we do have budgeted for a few more roles uh, going forward that are longer term. Hiring timelines, get that in as soon as you can. Don't worry about being perfectionist, just, just have something in because we want to start as pretty much as soon as possible. Uh, so it's rolling applications and rolling deadlines. And how to apply. So you can contact us. You can do kind of the more like traditional like resume and cover letter if that's what you want to do. But if you don't have those, that's also totally fine. We don't want you to get too stressed. We just want to show that you're able to get the job done, which is connecting with youth in your community and basically connecting with us and you know working on the event so um, you could just send a video like this you can maybe contact us on social media we are very open to like flexible uh, things because we know that not everyone like loves or is super comfortable writing out a resume is kind of a drag so <laughs> just do what you got to do to communicate why you're interested and why you'd be excellent for this role and if you're not sure like also feel free to reach out to us and we can speak with you and if you uh, really don't think you're right for this at this point in time but you still want to work with us in some way still reach out to us there, we're working on this for at least five years so there should be many opportunities to be involved and feel free to pass this along to any of your friends or family who you think would be really good for this role Thank you. Bye. And I realize I did not give you the email address. It is work at callisx.ca. That's work at callisx.ca. Or you can try us on Facebook or other social media if that's where you want to send stuff to. So a uh, final note, you do not need some sort of formal qualifications. You don't need like a degree in this supply. You don't need to finish high school. If you're wondering whether you're qualified for this, um, that almost is in your favor because we want people who can like learn and grow with us so uh, so don't worry if you need a little pep talk feel free to write us or or message us and if we hopefully have some time we can give you a little pep talk but um, we want everyone to to give it a try who's interested so get in touch